Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a coil lock. And since I use these mostly for pike, they need to be strong, so I use 1mm stainless steel wire here. And I'm roughly going to cut it uh, 20 centimeters, and then I'm going to make a bend to one of the tag ends. I'm going to use that bend to secure the wire to 1.5 millimeter drill bit and a vise. So now it's easy for me to wind the wire around the drill bit. After I winded the wire around the drill bit, I need to pull the wire apart enough that a 1mm steel wire will have enough room to move inside the coil. And then I'm just gonna cut the uh, excess off. Here I have my coil that I'm going to use on my lock. Now I can start making the lock itself. So I start off by making a loop using my round nose pliers. And I'm going to flatten the back part of the loop with some regular pliers. And sometimes you do need to use some force here since this is one millimeter stainless steel wire. After that's done, I'm going to take my coil and I'm going to fit and mark the point where I need to bend the wire. So that when the coil is in the locked position, uh, the bend I'm making now is still inside the coil. And that's very important. And I'm just going to bend it uh, roughly to 9 degrees. Let's see if it fits. Looks good. And then I'm just going to cut the excess off. Okay, next I'm going to make the line tie or wire trace loop. And it's basically just rolling the wire in on itself. And again, I use my flat nose pliers to uh, make the loop a little bit more nicer looking. I usually like to make two or three turns when I actually do, the, do these uh, coil locks. And I think on this one I'm going to make three, three turns. Then I'm just gonna cut the excess off. And there we have it, a lock that is extremely tough and durable, yet relatively easy and fast to use. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little quickie, uh, I'm gonna see you guys next time.